Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Girl Talk Get Ready With Me. Got everything laid out. Today we're going to be talking about something that might not be um, the happiest thing to talk about, but I feel like it needs to be talked about because yeah, we'll get into it. But we're going to be talking about holiday sadness and um, in general, I think it starts around this time of year for most people if you feel any sort of holiday sadness and I'm gonna share personally like my seasons of sadness in terms of not seasons my like times of sadness throughout the years for different reasons and whatnot. I think we have to talk about this because social media like just does a really bad job at showing like realistic holiday sadness if there is any maybe not everybody feels it i get that but i think that a lot of people do and i think that for one way or the other and i'm going to share like i said with you guys my reasons for feeling different levels of that sadness over the years for holidays and it didn't always it did not start out like that and yeah i'm going to share with you guys and if you feel comfortable um, you can share in the comments down below for any reasons why you feel sad during the holidays. Maybe it might be nice to just get it out and talk about it. Um, and if not, then I'm really happy that you guys have never felt any sadness over the holidays. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable sharing and this video still resonates with you, that's all that, you know, it needs to do. So let's get into it. It's probably gonna be a long one. Of course, like every video, everything will be linked down below, but I'm going to talk about what's on my face. Um, and we'll start with my Tula Vitamin C Drops. I'm literally almost out of this. I love this. I use it twice a day. I know twice, weird, but I wear it in the morning when I'm going to the gym um, because I want to have protection on my face and I wear it like when I'm getting ready. So I go through it a lot quicker because I use it twice a day. Um, I have my Kiehl's Vitamin, or Vitamin C, my Kiehl's Creamy Eye, eye Treatment with Avocado. This is on sale right now. I'm pretty sure most products are on sale right now. I'll link the sales that I can down below for Black Friday because um, this is going up and I'm pretty sure most Black Friday sales have already started this week, which is craziness. I'm gonna stock up on this. I did not buy one for the Sephora sale because I still had some and I know that Kiehl's always does. I still actually have quite a bit, honestly. This will last me like a while, but um, I know Kiehl's always does a much better deal on their actual site and they have 30% off. So yeah. And then I have my LMS um, anti-wrinkle day cream situation, um, the Pro Collagen. This stuff is amazing. I've used up quite a bit of it. I believe this is 30% off right now. I'm not sure. I'll link it down below if I can. And then since I'm using a new foundation, which I'm excited to share with you guys today, I've already talked about it a bunch in my vlogs. It doesn't have SPF in it. So I went in with my Tula Mineral Magic Sunscreen. Again, I wear this every day, twice a day, um, in the morning before the gym or to the gym. And then um, underneath my makeup nowadays, it goes great under makeup, it's perfect. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, everything will be linked down below and I'm just gonna talk to you guys and yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna have a little chit chat and get ready. So I wanna start by talking about the holidays and I'm gonna lump Thanksgiving and Christmas in together. Maybe that's not the case for your family. Maybe you live in a country where they don't celebrate either, but I'm going to talk about my experience. So I'm gonna lump Thanksgiving and Christmas together. First of all, I love Thanksgiving because it's like Christmas without the gifts. My family celebrated every single holiday together when I was a kid, up until I was in high school, honestly. Like, like maybe not junior, senior year, but like high school. And um, we celebrated Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas, even New Year's, like we would all go bowling. It's morning. We would all go bowling together. Like we celebrated every holiday together and it was my absolute favorite. I loved, everybody did a different, every like family member, my extended family, my cousins, aunts, uncles, only with my dad's side. But um, we uh, celebrated and it was like my happiest times. I loved like, I loved the holidays when I was younger. I loved like if I would bring a friend with me, like everybody, or like if when I was dating someone, when I would bring them with me, um, they all just were like, wow, your family like 
actually likes each other and gets along and and I remember just like in the moment not even thinking that that was not normal um but now realizing I was so lucky to have had that and also I think it makes it a lot harder now that I had it and I no longer do so all through high school middle school all all through my young years every single year we got together with my extended family and it was awesome we had played games we drank we ate we had fun it was just what i remember amazing blissful just amazingness and then come my um college years my parents got a divorce i want to say it was like my freshman or sophomore year of college um and that's when a lot of things changed uh, we stopped, it split the entire family up, like the entire family. Um, and, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't good. And we stopped doing all holidays together and it became like really ugly. And so I went home probably my first two years of college. And then I stopped going home for the holidays, multiple reasons. Um, I worked retail, you guys know I worked for Abercrombie, even in my, um, college, high school years, but they i wasn't a manager a and b like black friday wasn't as big of a thing as it is now where like people literally the mall opens at like six o'clock on thanksgiving which is awful anyway i'm gonna take a quick intermission i'm using the um charlotte tilbury flawless filter foundation amazing 2.5 is my color fair which yes i'm fair um i love this foundation it's phenomenal i hate the applicator but i love the foundation okay Anywho, so I stopped going home towards the end of, or towards, you know, my parents' divorce, and I would still go home sometimes, but it was horrible because it was, you pick which family you want to hang out with, and everyone's just sad, and nothing was the same, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that if you came from a divorced family, um, but I honestly think it was really hard because I didn't come from that for, you know, my entire life childhood so yeah it was not a not an easy transition so my parents got a divorce huge world huge like unexpected just didn't see it coming and then my entire family split up so it was like everything was gone and you know it was easy to run away from that in college because I worked retail so I really didn't go home um because I had to work and um I would have Friendsgiving with my friends and things like that, but holidays just were never the same. And and I remember like during college I was fine and I was in retail so I didn't have the time to think about like, oh, I don't have my family because like I said, I had friends and I would cook a turkey and everybody would come over and we would hang out and, and then later we would go to the mall together because we worked together at the mall. Um, so it was, it was normal, it was fine and, and then I got older and I started getting so sad that I didn't have my family for, for the holidays. And I not only like, you know, worked retail or whatever, I didn't even live near my family. I lived in Florida, so I couldn't go home to come back. So I wasn't able to spend any Christmases with family as soon as I became a manager and graduated college. Um, I wasn't able to spend any holidays with my family. And my mom would come, home, come down occasionally and, and whatnot, but I was never able to go back up north. And um, yeah, it was not easy. It was sucky, but that's how I managed through a lot of it. Um, and I also like went on and off between, you know, not wanting to go home and then really missing my family and, and wanting to go home, but didn't have the ability to like at all. And then fast forward to Japan when I moved to Japan and they don't really even celebrate a ton. Um, Christmas is honestly like a boyfriend girlfriend sort of holiday and New Year's is a family holiday. They don't celebrate Thanksgiving so typically I could get Thanksgiving off um, and sometimes I could get Christmas off but I wasn't able to like go home and be with family um, and that was probably one of the harder times. Um, but I was able to distract myself with fancy vacations and it was it was a way to to cope with it because I wasn't I wasn't around it and it wasn't as prevalent as it is here in the States. So um yeah, that happened and I remember just 
getting through it, right? Then I moved back to the States and that's when I would say it all like really hit me. I was getting older and my um, mom was on the road. She was RVing full time. My dad had what felt like another family. And I don't mean that in like a mean way. He just met someone else and their families did a lot of things together and it made me sad and miss, you know, that we used to have that with his family and I'm sure it made him sad as well because I'm sure he misses that as well um whether he likes to admit it or not um so that happened and then um I did spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with my mom the year I moved back to Japan or from Japan in, in Texas she came and visited um which was really nice but still insanely hard because I had to work retail. So I wasn't, we had Thanksgiving at like two o'clock and then I had to go to the mall at six or at four because we opened at six. It was awful. Um, and then I moved to California and um, got a job or worked for Sephora, got a job, did that, yada, yada, yada. Um, and that was the hardest year. I couldn't even look at social media around Thanksgiving or Christmas because I had no family, nothing. I didn't really have a ton of friends. Um, and it was hard, like it was next level hard. I was getting older, I was getting to the point where I was like, I just want Thanksgiving back. I don't even, I just want my friends and family. Like I just, that's what I want. And I wanted so badly just stability. And I think at that time I wasn't really talking with my parents. Um, and, Ugh, I regret that so much, but I wasn't. And um, obviously that makes it harder. But nonetheless, I like coped by not even like looking at social media. Um, I couldn't go home again. Like I worked crazy hours. I worked at a very large Sephora that was very, very busy. And yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't go home. My, um, Schedule was much easier because we didn't, we had a lot of people that worked at the store. So it wasn't as like demanding. Like we had so many managers that we could like split our time and, and people didn't work like as crazy as it was if you worked in a smaller location. Nonetheless, that was when my holiday sadness got the worst. And then I, um, got pregnant with Harlow. Um, and that was the first Christmas I was pregnant and I remember like my mom was here for Thanksgiving and Christmas Thanksgiving she here for Christmas I think I don't think she was here for Thanksgiving she was here for Christmas and Arlo was in my belly and I was pretty pregnant and I remember telling her I am so excited to have my own family to be able to I'm gonna cry <laughs> to to be able to change my perception of the holidays and my sadness because I have my own family. We can decorate trees, we can create our own traditions and we can, we can do all that. I can't wait for next Christmas, but it was still the Christmas at my mom. It was my last Christmas that I spent with her and it was still amazing because we hosted things or Christmas at our house, even though our house is super tiny. We hosted two thing, two Christmases, one with, um, Scott's dad and sister and brother-in-law and all them and then the other side with Scott's mom and his brothers and sisters from the um from her side so yeah it was in, in my mom for both of them and it was such a good Christmas and then um the following Christmas and Thanksgiving we had the pandemic happen right so that was fun i think everyone felt sad and lonely during that time whether you had family issues or not i mean no one was really allowed to see their family so everyone was going through it alone and um yeah that was my first christmas with arlo we actually went home to new york for think for thanksgiving i can't remember i think we just spent it by ourselves because no one was really doing anything i think scott like cooked a huge turkey and just did it by himself or well like we did it by ourselves makes sense um and yeah and then um 
we went home for Christmas, which was nice, but it was the first Christmas. I have like a hair on me without my mom. Um, and it was Arlo's first Christmas. So it was doubly as like awesome and sad all at once. And it was nice to be home for Christmas because I hadn't been home for Christmas since I was in college, college. And I mean, I graduated college in 2013, so almost 10 years ago, um, I had not been home or even since then, oh my God, I literally hadn't been home for Christmas since probably 2010, if that, I don't even know. So it was beautiful to be able to go home and, oh, well, I think I went once in college with my friend Lisette, Never mind. Um, I think I had gone once in college, but besides that, it had literally been so long since I had been at least you know, like 10 years since I had been home for Christmas and it was amazing. There was snow, it was beautiful. It was, it was fun to be around my family again. We all kind of came back together, but it wasn't like it used to be, but it was still really nice and I, I loved it, but I didn't have my mom. So this brings a whole nother, like I finally, you know, have my family and we can have our traditions and, and whatnot. And then I lose my mom and obviously that makes holidays super hard because I don't know anybody who doesn't have a parent can relate to that. Um, you can't call them up and wish them a happy Merry Christmas or whatever, even if, you know, you can't see them. I don't know. Nonetheless, I was like so excited to like have my family and be able to celebrate Christmas the way I wanted and then, and Thanksgiving the way I wanted. And I cannot wait until we have, you know, a big house and we can host people because that is something that Scott and I really, really like and can't wait to be able to do and wish that, that we could do that because I think a lot of the issues are like, we just don't have the ability to host everybody, but we're going to just, once we can, we're gonna just be like, hey, we're hosting Thanksgiving, anybody who wants to come, we don't care whether you don't like this person, whatever, it doesn't matter, we're all having Thanksgiving here. If you guys come, come, if not, you're lost, sort of thing. So yeah, I am obviously so excited for that, but obviously super sad that my mom isn't gonna be a part of that, right? Because that's hard. So no matter what, you're always going to have, if you have the holiday sadness, there's always gonna be something to be sad about is kind of what I'm getting at. And you don't have to dwell on it and you can try to make the best of it. And if you had a really rough childhood where you didn't celebrate the holidays and now you don't like them, that's totally okay too. You don't have to celebrate them and you don't have to be sad and, and you can find people that to surround yourself with that support you and and understand why you don't want to celebrate because there's so many different reasons it's not just you know not having someone to celebrate there's just so many different reasons to not wanting to celebrate the holidays i get it and i think that you know social media does this amazing job of just ignoring the holiday family issues or sadness of losing somebody or whatnot and it just talks about matching pajamas and monogrammed this and 10 Christmas trees that are 20 feet tall and and I love all that stuff do not get me wrong I love it and I'm so happy that I am able to do that with my family now but that doesn't mean that it's always been that way it doesn't mean that um I'm still not sad that I can't do it with my mom so I just wanted to get on here and talk about how, you know, not everyone's family is perfect. Not everyone's holiday is perfect and that's okay. And it doesn't always have to be that way. You can change it or you can just realize that it's just another day. It's just another day. You'll get past it and whatnot. But um, yeah, I just want to talk about that and, and kind of share that you know, the, the, though I may have a family now and, and I make them wear magic pajamas on Christmas morning, it hasn't always been that way. And I always wanted that. So I've made it a point to, to change that. But that doesn't mean that I'm still like 100% happy every holiday because like I said, oh my God, I can't cry because I'm about to put on mascara. Because <laughs> like I said, I, you know, don't have my mom. So there's always something 
And I think that that's just why I wanted to talk about it. And, and if you have a perfect family, wow, I'm so, I'm so jealous of you. But just remember that not everybody does. And yeah, I don't know. If you know of somebody who, you know, doesn't have anybody for the holidays, their family's not around, they can't go home, whatnot, extend an offer to, you know, have them come to your house or with your family or do something with them, but also be aware or be understanding if, they just don't want to because it hurts them worse because they don't have that themselves. I don't know. It's hard. And I think it gets harder the older you get, but it's part of life, I guess, right? But if you're young and you're feeling this way because your family just doesn't want to celebrate and doesn't have that holiday spirit, know that you can change that when you get older. And if you're older and you don't want to celebrate it because of your childhood or whatever the case may be, that's okay too. It's totally okay. And I just wanted to kind of open that discussion and talk about how it's okay to not be, you know, all Christmassy and whatever. And, um, and remind you that even if I make it out to seem that way this, this year, I mean, or any year that there, that I always have a level of sadness from not being at the same Christmas that it used to be or not having my mom or you know whatever the case may be so yeah I don't know I hope this made sense I was going to do a video literally about um the new year and new year's resolutions and yada 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 and then I was like you know what no we're not gonna skip over the the, the holiday season because for a lot of people the holidays are insanely sad maybe you don't have the money to to have the Christmases that you see on Instagram to buy the you know $90 pajamas to uh, pose in front of your $500 Christmas tree <laughs> filled with a bunch of gifts um, or maybe you do have that money but you don't have the family to celebrate it with because everyone's gone and doing their own thing or you know, you don't talk to anybody anymore for X, Y, and Z reasons. And this video is not here for me to tell you, you should go and reconnect with your family because maybe they don't deserve to be reconnected with, then that's okay. Um, but maybe it's also a moment to reflect because I used to push my family away a lot when I was younger. And um, I realized that it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So. But everyone's situation is different, so I'm not here telling you one way or the other because I don't know your situation. But I'm just here opening up and telling you that even though everything seems perfect for all these influencers on social media, it's not always the case. And even if it is the case, wow, awesome for them, right? But everybody, everybody has their own battle internally. You're not alone. I struggle with it, for sure. But you are loved. I will keep putting up videos, even though, if, you know, some people might be with their family. For those who are not, I always remember, like, when I was, you know, not around my family for the holidays, I would rely on YouTube to keep me company for the people who I used to watch that, would make videos and if they didn't make videos around that time I used to be like oh my god they're too busy with their family or whatnot so I still try to put up videos around the holidays because I think it's important for people to still like I don't know have a connection I don't know it all might sound insanely weird and I'm weird I'm aware letting my mascara dry but I just wanted to tell you you're not alone you don't have the perfect social media family <laughs> and all that it's totally okay and it's okay to hate Christmas and Thanksgiving and it's just another day if you don't like it but it's totally okay to love it and if you've never had any issues cool I'm rambling at this point but uh, yeah let's put one more coat of mascara on all right so that's gonna wrap up this video I don't know I don't know if this is going to be interesting or going to relate to anybody, but um, I just thought I would talk about it because 
it relates to me and that's what this channel is about is me telling things about myself to seem I don't know to talk to you guys and connect with you and whatnot so I hope you guys found some sort of enjoyment or I don't I don't know how you can find enjoyment on this video or just put it on while you got ready with me <laughs> hopefully it didn't make you sad if you have great holidays continue having great holidays I'm not here to stop you with that but it's okay to not so I love you guys so much um, I hope you have a good next couple of months whether you celebrate it or not whether you like it or don't I just hope you have a great next couple of months and find ways to cope past through the hurt if you have hurt or enjoy and love your family if you have them um, and yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video bye